mock reaction time. Jordan Reed busting out a seven rounder. Let's see how he has the Vikings doing. All right, welcome back to the One Bar in Lepage Show. I'm One Bar. This episode, mock reaction time. We're going to be looking at Jordan Reed's seven round mock draft. He busts out a seven rounder for all teams. Cannot wait to see how he has the Vikings doing. Reed, been around for a while. He, wrote, he was writing for Draft Network prior, now at ESPN. We actually had him on the show two years ago. One of my favorites. He knows his stuff. Uh, so we're going to see how he does. Something tells me he did well. He always does well for the Vikings. Uh, before we get to that, remember, subscribe to the channel. Like the videos here every damn day. Talking Minnesota Vikings. Almost at 7,000 subs. So if you're watching this, hit that button. Bing! Hashtag 7,000 down in the comments for a chance to win something. Uh, hopefully wonderful. But let's do this. I have not looked at it. You're seeing uh, you're seeing this firsthand. And uh, like I said, I got a feeling I'm going to be fairly happy with this. Jordan Reed, I think deep down, loves him some Minnesota Vikings. So let's do this. I'm not going to spend a ton of time going through everybody else's pick. But first round, I got to at least see if the Vikings uh, reached. So here we go. Hutchinson, Malik, Malik Willis again to number two. Could happen. Could happen. I love it. I want more. I hope Kenny Pickett's in before 12 2 bump somebody down like a sauce, the dream sauce, or maybe Stingley, another dream. Neil Thibodeau, all looking pretty good. Iquanu, normal. Kenny Pickett, there we go. Kenny Pickett bumping somebody down. Walker, very hot name. Kyle Hamilton, dream is over. Seattle, oh, back to back. Sauce, gone. Garrett Wilson to the Jets. Washington, Drake London. All right, there you have it. Derek Stingley is on the board. This would absolutely be my number one pick, but Jordan Davis is there as well. So it'll be interesting to see who he has his take. And there we go. Derek Stingley. Jordan Reed did not disappoint. And in this scenario, uh, I know we had a great workout, but look at these players, the teams, they, their needs. Stingley could absolutely be on the board, and I'm putting it 50-50 at this point. Getting me very excited. Jordan Davis going right after him. Jermaine Johnson, Trent McDuffie, all names that the Vikings have sniffed around. Charles Cross, Penning, Karlaftis, uh, still some good receivers on the board. Hoping the Packers do something uh, a little odd here. Zion Johnson, the Steelers, Lloyd, Packers, Chris Olave, don't like that. Car, okay, okay, let's go. Linderbaum going 24. Vikings trade back. I, I think they could trade back into those mid-20s and still get Linderbaum if they want. But I got to be honest, I'm kind of off the Linderbaum train, even if we traded back. Packers, Travis Jones. Good first round for the Packers. Boy, Mafe being becoming very, very normal for that Chiefs pick. All right, Vikings, let's go to pick two. Daxon Hill, Watson. All right. So right now, Vikings added a fantastic player again to a defense that they've added a lot of pieces to. Something tells me they're going to go interior offensive line here. Cole Strange. Yes, it's very early for Cole Strange here at pick two. Not that early, and, and I would love it. But uh, I could see them going offensive here. Not possibly even a tight end. Corral, Drake Jackson. David Ajabo is still on the board, too. That could be an interesting one. Future. Future. Leal, like him for the Vikings. Browns. Winfrey. Tariq Wollin. All right, Vikings. Who do we got? Petrie's still on the board. Uh, and still some very good offensive weapons as well. Jalen Petrie. Double dipping at the secondary. Petrie. Kyle Hamilton. Best safety in this draft, no doubt about it. But Jalen Petrie, uh, I don't think he gets the love as he should. This guy can do it. He can do it all. He can play everywhere. Instant instant day one impact player. Uh, I would love him in there. I mean, it would probably, I mean, Cam, Cam Bynum would have a tough time beating out Jalen Petrie. But for the future, the Petrie Bynum combo gets me very excited. And, and having these three guys with Hitman, uh, along with Stingley and the other guys we brought on defense, going all in on defense. Love it. Love this pick. We're at an A-plus right now. A-plus. Sam Howell, Sky Moore, Lewis Seen. All right. Oh, there goes Ajabo, 50. Wow, boy, Mafia and David Ajabo for the Chiefs. All right, Vikings. Pick round three. We're going to cruise down to that one. It's got to be your interior offensive line. They can't go defense again. I mean, they can. There we go. Josh. Josh. Pascal, Kentucky, uh, I know he lit, lit up the combine, but again, they're going defense. Once again, Armand Watts does not like this pick one damn bit. Armand Watts just stormed out of his living room as he saw this. 
I like it. I like adding the defense side of the ball. Uh, he lives and breathes football. Um, read about this guy and uh, coaches love him. Teams love him. Again, I think he ran like a sub five at the, at the four at, at the combine. Um, so I'll take that. I'll take that. Still excited. Clearly all in on defense. Uh, we do not have a round four pick. So Cole strange, I believe unless he falls, my heart is broken right now. So I'm going to fly through this filet round three. That's surprising. Taylor Britt, Nick Cross, like him. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Carson Strong, Brian Cook, James Cook, Dolphins. Some very good players still going in round three. Cole Strange, there he is. Rams. Rams get the future Hall of Famer, Cole Strange. Marcus Jones, guy I've been talking probably way too much about. Sneaks in at the end of round three. Round four, Vikings are off. Let's go right to round five. At this point, interior offensive line, I mean, maybe they go, maybe they go, but it's not going to be an instant impact player. So we just have to realize that. Minnesota Vikings, Dawson Deaton. Wow, Dawson Deaton interviewee. We interviewed him. Uh, and Dawson Deaton, love the guy from Texas Tech. He's a guy who is his draft stock seems to be anywhere from round five to undrafted. Uh, center, that's all he plays is center. Um, project type of guy so this might be ideal because Garrett Bradbury's, Bradbury's probably not going to be giving up the reins at center just for lack of options this year so maybe Dawson Deaton could come in the following year and actually push for that job but I like to pick I like to pick mostly because uh he was on the show so I gotta be honest still no tight end All right, just looking over that quick. All right, round six, Vikings right off the board. Danny Gray, speedster from SMU. I like that. Wide receiver, good value in round six. Um, he's a guy that's been going earlier than round six, very fast. Uh, yeah, he can return punts. They use him in the backfield, a nice gadget-type guy um, who could help fill out the bottom of the depth chart. We know the wide receiver bottom of the depth chart is going to need some help with, uh, I mean, Dan Chasina's on that thing right now, so... I like Danny Gray. I actually love that pick. Cole Turner, tight end from Nevada. Jack Jones, back-to-back -back picks. Cole Turner, pass-catching tight end. I don't believe he's much of a blocker. Um, a lot of catches last year. I want to see he had 50, 60 catches for, for Nevada. So Cole Turner, round six, maybe comes in, pushes Zach Davidson for that spot. Jack Jones, cornerback from Arizona State that we talked about as a, as a potential sleeper pick in the later rounds. His off-the-field issues is what's going to cause him to fall. Uh, definitely has some issues there, but he can definitely play some ball. So getting another cornerback as well. In round six, I mean, why not take a flyer on the talent? All right, round seven, final, final. This has been a fantastic draft, I'm not going to lie. James Houston, linebacker from Jackson State. I'm not going to pretend for one second I know anything about James Houston. Uh, but linebacker depth I know is a definite need and they just uh, decide the way to the last round so defense 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 once again but still getting some offensive value that danny gray pick in round six was great dawson deaton i like but looking at the top of this draft petrie stingley um pascal getting another defensive lineman into the mix along with adding some weapons on offense i love it uh it's tough not to give this a solid a just based off of those first handful of picks and some values so jordan reed comes through for Minnesota Vikings fans and gives us one hell of a draft. Let me know comments below. What do you grade this draft? What would you have done differently? And uh, Jordan Reed, thumbs up, thumbs down. Hashtag 7,000.